In this tutorial I'm going to be modifying an animation. So I've created an animation from audio and now I'm going to be using FaceFX Studio's various methods for tweaking that animation. Uh, I can drag my tabs around to create a good working environment, select a bunch of curves, and these are curves that are contained in my mapping and as a result they are being driven by these phoneme and word timings and by moving the word timings and adjusting the phoneme boundaries you'll see that the curves are updating if I wanted to modify the curves directly I could check this own by analysis box and now I can impact the keys and the phonemes no longer do anything uh, of course if I make them own by analysis again and move the phonemes the curves are regenerated and so I've lost whatever changes I've done uh, manually to the keys. For the curves that are generated from my analysis actor, uh, and that's these curves. Once again, these are owned by analysis, so there's no keys on these curves either. And to update these curves, I would do a new analysis take. And basically, that's a new interpretation of this animation. And I can do as many interpretations as I want until I get one that I like. I can zoom into a particular area and do a new interpretation of that area. Uh, without impacting uh, the animation as a whole. And finally, if I want to, to edit the animation in a different way, I can pop up a new viewport and I can use workspaces. So I'll, there's some existing workspaces that we have here, but to create a new workspace, I would just let's call this gaze. And I do have some gaze nodes here and I can just drag the nodes onto the workspace and by dragging a second node onto the workspace I can create a 2D slider. Now by holding control I can bring up these edit points uh, to make the slider bigger or to rotate it and position it over my character any way that I want and if I am in animate mode which I am here uh, I can actually set keys in the animation so I can go to a particular time and then hit the middle mouse button to set keys for those curves and then go to a different time and set keys in a different level. And you'll see I've created some new, I've added those, cur those curves to the animation here and I've set keys here and I can once again edit in the curve editor. And so those are the primary ways to edit an animation in FaceFX Studio.